Kevin, thank you. And Anderson Business is the target of recent criminal activity, not once, but twice. Ambassadors for God's Creatures tells WRTV it is thankful that no one was hurt. WRTV's Nico Panisi is in Anderson tonight with the details. A burglary and then just days later, damage to property. Ambassadors for God's Creatures here in Anderson has been the target of two different crimes since last week. WRTV spoke with manager Michael McKinney, who watched the most recent incident unfold. All of a sudden we heard this loud uh, kind of a crash and kind of couldn't figure out what it was. And then we saw the window. Had the Anderson Police Department says officers arrived at the nonprofit on 8th Street after 2 p.m. Wednesday for reports of shots fired. Officers found the windows on the 8th Street side of the building had been shot through and shattered. Three employees, including McKinney, were inside working at the time. None were harmed. It's kind of a strange series of events because it's a fairly decent neighborhood. After being burglarized on December 27th, McKinney wonders if they're being targeted. Yeah, it makes us uh, kind of wonder why. I mean, is it random? Is it planned? Uh, somebody have something against us? Next door at 8th Street Mini Mart, owner Danny Singh says he's worried about the recent string of crime. We moved into this neighborhood uh, last year. I haven't heard anything uh, of this sort before, but especially to happen in next door is definitely concerning, yes. Singh says he'll be adding more lights and security cameras to his business in order to be safe. The Anderson Police Department says no arrests have been made at this time and that the investigation is still ongoing. And Anderson, working for you, Nico Panisi, WRTV. And if you or anyone that you know has information about these crimes, you are asked to contact Anderson Police or Crime Stoppers. You can find that contact information at WRTV.com.